Hey there, I'm Jamie Smith, CF Pro Tools, and I wanted to run through and show you a quick demonstration of a new add-on that I'm calling CF PayPal Plus. And what this is, is it works with ClickFunnels and allows you to have uh, both a PayPal payment option and a credit card payment option on the same order form uh, and let your customers pick which way they would like to pay. Uh, this is great. It uses the embedded uh, ClickFunnels PayPal integration, which is the cool new Express Checkout payment flow, which uh, we'll show you here in a second. But uh, basically, you get a chooser. Do you want to pay with PayPal? Do you want to pay with credit card? And and then they have either a PayPal button or they get the credit card form they can fill in their credit card number. So let's just run through and show you what that looks like real quick. This has been kind of a long awaited add on and I am super excited to roll it out to you. Uh, and I've actually, uh, there's uh, been some that I rolled out a version one just a few days ago. This one now actually works with two step order form. So I'm gonna show you on a two step order form here first. And this is what this looks like. So I've got just basic order form. It's in test mode. You can see I've got it in Stripe test mode uh, up at the top here, uh, but we've got a basic order form. I'm just gonna go ahead and. And, uh, go to step two here. And this is a two-step order form. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click the go to step two. And now I am on step two. So I've got a PayPal product. Um, and I notice my product name is testing PayPal here. And I've got uh, PayPal, uh, pay with PayPal selected as my default option. This is configurable. If I, uh, in the editor, drag this row, the pay with credit card row up above, then that will be selected by default. But my customers can now choose, do they want to pay with PayPal or do they want to pay with credit card? And so they click with credit card and then they'll get the credit card form. Um, so this is pretty slick. Uh, and it just says, hey, click the button below to pay with PayPal. Um, and so all they have to do is go down here um, it works with order bumps. We've got a PayPal bump product. Um, we'll notice if we check pay with credit card that our products actually change to testing Stripe product. Now it's a credit card product, testing Stripe uh, or testing PayPal. Uh, so testing Stripe product, notice the bump also changes. So it connects to the bump products as well, swaps those out so that the right product is sold based on which payment integration you're using on that product. Um, and then if they wanna pay with PayPal, the way that it works is they'll click the complete order button and then these get replaced with the PayPal button. So you get PayPal or PayPal credit. And then all we have to do is click one of these buttons and uh, a little window will pop up here. Uh, it opens up on my little laptop screen, so I had to drag it up. But this little window pops up and it says, hey, do you wanna go ahead and log in and pay with PayPal? So instead of going away, you'll notice behind the scenes here, my my order form is still there. Uh, so this all kind of stays on the same page. And if they click out of this, then they're right back to the order form. So this is the one of the downsides of the, the old way of doing PayPal is that when they click a PayPal button, it takes them over to the PayPal site to log in. And if they get lost there or they go get distracted and do something else, they're gone from your order form. This way, they stay on the order form. The order form doesn't go away. They just get the little PayPal modal box that comes up and lets them log in right here. And it all PayPal communicates with your page all on the back end. So then all I have to do is click log in and then we're gonna go ahead and log in and it's gonna pull up. This is in my sandbox account. So I'm gonna use my sandbox PayPal email address. And that jumps up and then I'm gonna click my uh, login here and then it's gonna come up and ask me how do I wanna pay? What payment method do I wanna use? PayPal, uh, do I wanna use my PayPal balance? Do I wanna use a credit card? Do I wanna use my bank account? Um, so then you just have to choose which payment method they wanna use and then click the pay now. And then by default, PayPal balance is always gonna be selected as the default mechanism and now the order has processed paying through PayPal, they go to an OTO page. This also works with OTOs. And so now if they click yes, add to my order, add this OTO, they get the same thing. Do you wanna use PayPal? PayPal credit. They click PayPal. This is kind of the beauty thing. They're already logged in to PayPal. Um, and so now when this pulls up, and it is a little bit slower here than it would be in production because it's using the Sandbox PayPal, which is not their most powerful uh, system. So uh, it's a little bit slower to log in than what it would normally be, but you'll see they're logged in, they're paying 97 bucks, they wanna pay with PayPal balance, um, and so we just click the Pay Now button again. So it's like two clicks, you know, three clicks. Uh, so we click the Buy Now, click the PayPal, and click the Pay Now. Um, and we're good to go. And now we're on here. Now I've tested this several times, so we see a bunch of other stuff coming up. So we'll notice these here from other tests since I've used this email before, uh, but you get the idea. You get an order form with PayPal buttons and you get a an OTO page with PayPal buttons. You could use multiple OTO pages, however you wanna do that. And then it just goes right on through. Um, so that is the PayPal, um, the, the new CF PayPal Plus add-on. And I hope you like that. Again, let's just bounce back and show you one last time here. We've got this, uh, we've got our little 
pay with PayPal. If they choose pay with credit card, super simple. They just fill in a credit card just like normal. When you click complete order, it'll run the credit card and charge the transaction and go on right onto OTO. And your OTO page will work just like normal. They click the buy button on the OTO and they just go right on through. Nothing changes there. All we're doing is basically giving them the choice. Do you want to pay with PayPal? Do you want to pay with credit card? So this one I know a lot of people have been looking for. It gives you that flexibility. The beauty part of it is when you choose pay with PayPal, you get this pay with PayPal credit. So you can actually let your customers know, hey, do you, you know, if you've got a 197 or 297 or $997 product, you can offer them a payment plan through PayPal and you don't have to do any of the work. PayPal will let them take up to six months to pay for that uh, purchase and you get your money right away. Uh, as the seller, you get your money right away um, and PayPal, you know, minus whatever PayPal fees, uh, but PayPal takes that, uh, gives you the money and then they work with the customer over the next six months or however long they take to pay for it to get their payments from the customer. So you don't have to worry about that aspect. You don't have to be the bank by extending a payment plan. Let PayPal do that for you. So those are the kind of cool features of it. I hope you like this and I hope to see you using it real soon.